June bugs, Japanese beetles, all those nasty grubs. We're gonna do some prevention today. Hey team, welcome back to Lawn Journeys, it's Russ. This is a quick video. We're gonna handle our grub prevention. The product I'm gonna be applying today is imidacloprid. It's a uh, liquid insecticide designed to uh, stop the grubs in their life cycle. And we're gonna punch out of the video right now. I'm gonna explain the grub life cycle and then I'm gonna come back and uh, tell you what my plan is today. Okay team, so let's quickly take a look at the grub life cycle. Essentially, whatever grubs you had in your lawn last fall um, went deep as the weather got cold. So we can look there in January, February, March. And as things start to warm up and the soil temperatures start to warm up, they start to emerge and move closer and closer to the surface. They'll eventually find your turf roots and yummy, yummy, that's some good stuff to eat. They'll start nibbling away. And the um, larva will pupate into the adult um, beetle. And that is often why we see these emerge generally in the June time frame. You may have heard of the term June, term June bug. Um, these are a lot of our common beetles, um, such as otherwise known as the Japanese beetle. They'll emerge in June. Um, they'll buzz around, they'll eat your plants, they'll have a good old time. They'll party on and eventually, um, you know, do what they do, return to the lawn and drop some eggs. And the life cycle starts again. Now... Um, that happens in June and July. The problem is um, the weather's good. There's been no freeze. Population's hungry. There's lots of eggs. There's lots of new larvae. And then there's lots of roots to eat. So you'll find that when you have grub damage, it's usually really bad in August and September. Okay, and that's because you have such a large population active in the lawn. They haven't have had to um, dig deep and, you know, harbor over for the winter. Um so you'll find a lot more damage where possibly your turf could get wiped out later in the season. So what are we going to do about it? Well, there's two approaches. And the approach I'm doing is the preventive approach where I'm using a particular insecticide that's targeted at the um, grub population before it's fully mature. Okay, and it works very effectively and it's important to get it down um, in, the May in the May time frame before those larvae go into what's called the third instar, where they're very hard um, to eradicate with some of the preventive um, products, um, such as the one I'm using in this video. Um, so timing is important. If you do miss that window and you do have um, grub issues later in the season, there's a whole other line of products that's targeted and very effective at wiping out the uh, adult um, grubs. Um, that are fat and juicy and having a good old time eating your roots. All right, guys, so now that we understand the grub life cycle, uh, we know why we want to get this stuff down in mid-May. Um, you've probably, everybody's heard of June bugs. Um, there's different types of beetles that um, result in larvae and grubs in the lawn, those uh, mad root-eating animals that will destroy your turf and ruin your season. Um, there's no reason why, if you do have grub infestation later in the summer, that you can't treat it with a 24-hour um, insecticide. But just like anything else, I believe prevention is always the key. So what I would like to do is try to stop them. Now, one of the things I want to talk about today at the end of the video, I'm going to explain why I'm using this uh, liquid product for my grub control, imidacloprid versus going out and buying two bags of grub to cover my 10,000 square feet. And you'll be surprised if you stick around to the end of the video how much more economical this product is and how far it goes and how many seasons you may be able to get out of it or how many lawns you'll be able to do. Um, while I'm at it today, I'm going to be going RGS and aerate at three ounces um, per 1,000 square feet. Um, that's part of my regular biostim package that I practice all season. I'm down with that. Um, this is probably my third year with these products. I'm really happy with the results. My lawns never look better. Now, getting to the imidacloprid, the recommended application rate is 0.6 ounces per 1,000 square feet. So that's not a lot. So if I'm going to be able to get 4,000 square feet out of my backpack sprayer, I'm looking at basically 2.5 ounces of material in four gallons. So let's go to the mixing station. I'm going to mix it up and show you guys um, what's going on. 
I'm gonna do my app and then it is recommended that this gets watered in with up to a half inch of water to get it into the ground and activate it. So I'll be running my irrigation system today. I'm expecting some rain possibly tomorrow. Um, but the air rate and the RGS also needs to be watered in. The beauty of the backpack sprayer is you can put it all together, get it all done in one shot, save some time. And I'm not running around with the spreader this year um, doing the grub X, which I really think is super expensive compared to this. So I'm really excited about this. Hey team. So one gallon backpack sprayer per thousand square feet. I'm doing three ounces of RGS, three ounces of air eight per thousand and 0.6 ounces of imidacloprid. So for four gallons, that's going to be approximately two and a half ounces of material. So the first thing I'm going to do is get a little water in my backpack sprayer. This uh, imidacloprid, it's a foliar and systemic insect control. I sourced it from Yard Mastery. There's a link in the show notes. Feel free to use it. Um, I think it was about $28. This will cover approximately 40,000 square feet. Like I said, stick around to the end and we'll do the price comparison with uh, materials such as GrubX. Okay, so I'm gonna go two and a half ounces. So I've got that in there. Rinse that out. Make sure I got it all. Okay, so now I'm going three ounces per thousand of RGS. Um, again, four gallons in the backpack sprayer for 4,000 square feet. I'm gonna go 12 ounces. 12 ounces of RGS. It'll be the same for the aerate. 12 ounces. So as you can see, this is about half full right now. So I'm gonna give it a good shake. We're gonna to top it off now to four gallons, and then have my proper uh, concentration for 4,000 square feet. Last step, let's do a battery check, fully charged. Gonna open my compartment, install my battery, close that up. Let's get spraying. All right, team. Got the uh, midacloprid down, um, aerate, RGS, Backpack sprayer, it's working out well. I'm watering it in right now, I have my sprinklers running. Um, that's it, that should give me about four month protection on grub control. Now if I have a grub outbreak this summer, I'll switch over to the instant kill um, pesticide. Um, let's hope that doesn't happen. Um, I always uh, side on preventive measures rather than um, reactive. Okay team. So let's make this uh, easy. I'm not going to compare multiple granular grub control products. I'm gonna just stick with Scott's Grub X, which is the one that I have been using um, year in and year out. What I've found recently is you can go a lot farther with the liquids for a lot less money. So I just wanted to demonstrate that here. So we're on a big box store website. I'm looking at Scott's Grub X, which is a great product. Okay. Um, for my size lot, I need approximately, I would need enough to treat 10,000 square feet because it comes in 5,000 square foot bags. I'm a little over 9,000 square feet. So this particular um, product, as you can see here, Grub X 15 pound by Scott's is 24.48 per bag and it treats 5,000 square feet. So I need two bags. So I'm looking at $49 plus tax, so let's just round it up to $50, okay? $50 to do my grub prevention app. Now, let's switch over to the Yard Mastery site. Um, the product we're looking at here is a minocloprid, and that's what I am, what I just used in this video, which you guys have seen. Um, I applied it with my backpack sprayer. Um, a minocloprid here is $28, okay, and that's for uh, 27 and a half ounces. Now, the trick here is you only need 0.6 ounces per 1,000 square feet. So if we um, 
you know, look at some of this uh, information here that's provided on the Yard Mastery website, you can see that this 27 and a half ounces will cover 45,000 square feet. Okay. So I can basically treat my lawn four years in a row for two thirds less in price. So for $28, basically half the price um, for $28 I can treat my lawn four times versus $50 to treat it once using the granular I'm going to leave it at that there's a link to this product in the notes um, and on the yard mastery site I would imagine this product and others like it um, are available um, from multiple online vendors um, if you want to check out the yard mastery that's fine but as you can see, um, aminocloprid is an insecticide, which is um, maybe more commonly known as merit. So that's it in a nutshell, guys. Um, again, backpack sprayer, um, somewhere where you can apply with precision is recommended if you're going to go liquid. Um, you do not want to use a hose end sprayer with this product. Um, it's, it's not precise enough. You could be under or over applying. Um, of course, under applying is wasting your money. Over applying is, you know, not being sensitive to the environment. Please make sure that you always read the instructions on the products. Do not rely on this video. Um, there's always a chance there could be an error in something that I've said, and I always check the directions before I mix and apply. And I recommend that you do the same. All right, team. So we went through the life cycle of the, uh, the grub. I hope you guys are getting out there and getting it done. I highly recommend you get your grub control down. You may want to look into this product. It's definitely um, economical. It goes a lot farther than the granular um, products that are available. Um, the only thing is you probably need a backpack sprayer. Um, everywhere I've read and every other professional um, that I've talked to, they pretty much um, they pretty much, we're getting a little wet here. <laughs> they uh, pretty much uh, frown upon um, spraying this out of a uh, hose end sprayer because you really don't have control, okay? So uh, something I recommend that you look into if you're gonna um, go with the liquid. Definitely um, look into fine tuning your spraying capability, maybe um, investing in a backpack sprayer. There's some other, um, sprayers on the market the spray mate just came out i think that's also made by flow zone you know that's something you guys can look into um i know some people have done reviews on those so uh yeah things are looking good here we're greening up i'm uh basically uh watering it in here and uh that's it i got my grub control under control i'm going to be uh following up with a double dark uh granular application soon Look for that video, Look, it'll have the results in it, and um, you know, probably roll that out around Memorial Day by the time you see that. I have some other things I've been working on, so subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Get out there, get it done. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. It's beautiful here in Jersey today. Um, and I will see you guys next time on Lawn Journeys.